Hello, I'm here to shed some light on a fascinating topic that's been buzzing in the scientific community for years, the surprising potential of melatonin. For a long time, I've highlighted melatonin's value for many health issues. But now, cutting edge science is suggesting it. Bruce, imagine a sudden, terrifying heart attack or stroke. Time is of the essence, and traditional options can be limited. In our first study, intravenous melatonin given within three hours of a heart attack showed astonishing results. This wasn't just a ban. The clock is ticking. That three hour window is crucial. It's like a medical race against time, and melatonin is our secret weapon. Patients who received this early dose had significantly better outcomes two years later. That's right, two years. It wasn't just a fleeting effect. It's a and the science backs it up. We saw a substantial difference in MMP's Kaida I9 levels, a key marker for cardiac recovery. But here's my burning question. If just one dose had such a profound impact, what if they'd taken melatonin daily for those two years? This brings us to the next study, exploring the long-term daily benefits. Imagine a nightly ritual, simple yet powerful. Taking 10 milligrams of melatonin every night for 24 weeks showed incredible cardiovascular benefits especially for those with heart. Melatonin works its magic by attenuating the renin, angiotensin, aldosterone, and it's a fancy way of systems. And let's not forget its superstar antioxidant and anti-inflammatory powers. It's like having a tiny biological superhero working. So what is the big takeaway? Timing is everything. Early intervention is repeatedly shown to get the best results. Don't procrastinate on your health. Moving on to stroke, another formidable opponent. Limited treatment options make novel therapies like melatonin incredibly important for attenuating its devastating effects. Stroke is a leading cause of cognitive impairment and mortality, but melatonin acts as an antioxidant, a free radical scale. Preclinical and clinical trials show melatonin's neuroprotective capabilities. It reduces infarct size and boosts glial cell viability. Now, let's get personal. Hospitals might not always administer melatonin quickly. So for me, and I'm just talking for myself here, I'd, I'd trade to maximize absorption and availability, I'd personally use both oral melatonin and melatonin lotion, a double whammy against adversity, if you will. One crucial detail about stroke, swallowing can be difficult, even dangerous. If I could safely swallow, I'd switch to lotion exclusive. I've even shared my melatonin lotion recipe with friends, and their success stories are inspiring. It's like a secret club for pain relief. Yeah. Now, for a crucial warning. While melatonin is generally safe, these studies are limited and under hospital settings. They always consult your physician or cardiologist before considering melatonin for serious events. They need to approve and supervise. It's an absolute MUST.